Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Um, I've been speaking to a few of you this week regarding um, Magic Page, and we're going to be adding spin text into the into the software. Um, <clears throat> we didn't want to just put standard spin text in there so that you can spin it and do what you normally do with with every other spinner. So we we've we've took a little bit longer than we expected to do this. I'm really pleased with the outcome um, and. I'm going to spend the next 10-15 minutes just run through and show you exactly how to use it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right, I've been stuck in a dark room, so I'm going to apologise if I'm a bit throaty because I've been coding and messing around for the last few days fi fixing this and stuff. So basically, um, this is a basic standard site I get done off rowing in my group. Um, so it'll come just like this, cost me 30 bucks or whatever it is and <clears throat> I always get him to write a few pages of content for me on there and then a magic page which looks something like this it's not in the magic page and I've already added it here but literally it gets me a page of content I'll copy and paste it into the magic page as normal um, and use it as you normally would in your um, in your magic page that's not how I'm going to be doing going forward. Um, we've added added spin text, like we said. Uh, the plugin I use for spinning content is Spin Rewriter. And the reason I use this is probably the best one in the world. If you do mass page or something like that and you've not already got this, then I would recommend going and getting it. It's the best one I've used. In fact, um, I'll stick my affiliate link at the bottom of the video. <laughs> if you're going to buy it, you might as well make me some money while you're there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Right, I'll paste it in here. So basically what you'll do, you take your content first of all, go over to Spin Rewriter. Um, if you've not got this and you, you don't intend to buy it, it's pretty simple. There's loads of places you can get your content spun for free. Um, it's probably not going to be as good, but then again, um, you can always just write it yourself or, or, and then add the cinnamon in, in yourself. It's, it's not super difficult. All right, just change that to English because I'm in the UK. Okay, so <clears throat> we have a document that's been written. I'd come over here, paste it into here. So you hit the rewrite button, paste your document, your content in here. Make sure your paragraphs are not too long. Google doesn't like massive paragraphs. And then I will come down to the settings here. And what I would do is only use the save stuff. I don't double spin it now with the with the spin text we've now put into this document you can actually go five six seven um, threads deep so you can spin it as deep as you really need to but we've added tools in there to try and keep the um, the spinning as, as good quality as possible and it gives you much more control if you spend a little bit longer on the document it'll rank longer and better and it won't just be spun crap basically uh, like you see on a lot of these mass page sites so what if you just follow what I'm doing today it'll give you a much cleaner and, and, a, and a better spawn content. Um, <clears throat> so all I'll do is come in here, only use suggestions that you're really confident about, and then come to the bottom and I just type in location, county, region, country, zip, cities and map. Zip is only relevant for the USA. Um, we've taken that out of, of, of some of the other databases simply because Google's hit people using zip codes pretty hard recently. So if that changes, we may change our stance on that, but we haven't at the minute. And then you just come up here and hit, I'm feeling lucky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okie dokie. So we've had it spun. I've only gone one level deep. And as you can see, there's your content. Don't copy and paste it out of here. If you copy and paste from here, what's going to happen is it's going to pull in all the spans and other crazy stuff that are in the back end of here. What you want to do is come down, click export, select that one, export the finished article with spinning spin. Now this is only if you're using this software. If you're not, whatever spinner you use is cool. And then just export it. <coughs> Oh, sorry, export like that. Download it. And then over here, open it, and there's your content. 
so I'm going to jump back across to magic page wherever it might be here we go and now and I wouldn't bother stopping and checking what them pages are because I'm going to go through I've opened the only the pages I need today for you guys so okay so we've added that in go up here I'll set mine Manchester within a thousand miles okay and then you can just publish All right now this is where <coughs> our software gets slightly different than than what you'd expect from anything else so for example we'd normally now come down to the bottom here and start throwing in spawn titles descriptions and and other such things yeah, i'm going to say don't jump straight in and do that no the content that's just come through on that should look okay anyway so as you can see well pretty decent and if you're on the manchester page <clears throat> if you look at this top plumbing issues blah blah, blah whatever it says come down click on odd so it should be different And again, if we go over to say Salford, it's going to be different again. But if we then go back to Manchester, that spawn content will be identical as it was before. Can't see Manchester in there. No, I can't see it. That just means it's not one of the 10 closest locations. So the content will change based on <clears throat> the page where you are, but it will be fixed to the page that it's first seen on, whether it's seen by Google or seen by you guys. It will, um, I think I might already have some in there. As you can see, that one starts pipes issues, Liverpool, Manchester. Now, the way you do this, the way you do the custom links on there while we're on, because I know a few people's asked about that, just copy, highlight that. And all you do is you go into your custom link, paste whatever location you're going to be putting in in there. So say I was doing Sheffield. Oops, keep that low. Add it to the menu. Oh, we've already got Sheffield there. And you just drag it across and drop it in and it'll work. And then you just test it on the page to make sure it's the right Sheffield. If it's not, you change the <clears throat> this bit here to hyphen two hyphen three and just have a look at the map on the page and you'll know whether it's the area you want in. Right, if I don't save that menu it shouldn't um okay so we'll go back into magic page. Right so next step is obviously we're gonna start looking at <coughs> keywords for the page um how what, what our main key phrase is, what our title tag is. Now, I have my own way of doing this, um, of building title tags and stuff like that, but for this now, what I would recommend doing is using your spinner. Okay, so we'd go to rewrite, ignore the draft, and then you're gonna come into this bit here. Then what I would do is, for example, what site are we on here? plumbing right okay so <clears throat> type plumber london in google then what i would do and you don't need to um to touch this because that's an advertisement you don't want to click on that because it'll cost whoever it is money um you can also go down here but these are usually pretty good as well so what you do is you highlight this and it'll mean it won't touch it click it and then you drag it across to your spin rewriter paste it in there now there's a reason that these <coughs> are used the way they are is the great for click-through rate but then if you come on here there's also a reason why people use what they use here and it's obviously helping rankings so all I would do is you're thinking of pulling in this and you think I'm just going to click spin on this well that's not what I'm going to do and I've already I've already prepared this a little bit earlier what I would do is I'd go down the most populated and the hardest to rank areas that I cover um, say Manchester London Birmingham um, maybe Glasgow and and pick out the best ranking sites and steal their um, or steal but re recycle their title tags 
um, and I'll do the identical same thing with their um, <clears throat> content with their descriptions as well because obviously the top five or ten get the most clicks get the most traffic um, and they rank the best so they're there they're like that for a reason and then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going over to spin rewriter or whatever spinner you're using I want to remove this one because I've got some that I prepared earlier because I knew I was going to be doing this and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down and you pick about 10 you replace the locations on there with the word location in brackets and you go back over to spin rewriter and what you're going to do is you're going to paste that in here okay so we've got 10 of the best ranking titles for the industry you're targeting and we're pasting them all in here <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is identical to what we did before so we're going to hit settings we're going to make sure it's on low risk we're going to not bother with multi spinning because this is actually going to multi spin it for us as you're going to see in a minute and then we're going to put the same keywords in there so you want location county region country zip cities map which are all of the codes that we use on the page which should be in your content here there or somewhere and then again you're just going to hit i'm feeling lucky and let it run off and spin it now if you look at this now it should be pretty similar to the 10 we've got here okay so them 10 let me just drag that over there like that oh wrong one sorry so they should be pretty similar to the 10 we've got here because they're the ones i copied earlier whilst i was playing around with this and then what we're going to do, and if anyone's used X fields, <clears throat> you understand how X fields work. Well, we've now got new spin text short codes at the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to show you how this works, but I didn't want to keep make this video too long, so I've not bothered obviously doing all this in front of you. But I'd go through and pull ten of them out, paste them in, spin them all, drag them onto a text editor, and keep that as your page titles for your plumbing. I'm going to do the same with description. I'm going to spin that in front of you in a minute. Then what I would do. Is. So how many have we got? We've got one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I've got eleven there, but they look the same to me, or very, very similar. I'm only going to use ten. Okay, so we've got ten. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open new spin tax code. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to call it title. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to add another spin tax code, and I'm going to call it title two okay i'm going to save that as well first thing i'm going to do is going to go into edit this and then i'm going to add 10 new titles to this title i've got 10 of them there Wizard across copy now this looks complicated because I'm doing it with 10 normally if you just targeting within a 30 mile radius or something you could probably get away with three or four of these but it's however you look at it this is going to spin it 10 times better and it's going to be uh, 10 times better when you see the actual title tags and the way they look after they've been spun than it would by just getting one making it really long and adding loads of words in and then spinning it shit loads of times because you're going to be able to put the locations in different places you're going to be able to add completely different setups for your words and it's just going to look much much better uh, when it's on the page afterwards as you'll see in a minute okay so we're going to do that paste that in Gonna hit save <clears throat> then what i'm going to do which seems like a bit of a pain but i'm going to do it twice now the reason i'm doing this is if you paste that onto this page above it's going to show the same every single time on the page it shows on so if you paste it into the page above if you want to target for example let's have a look if you wanted to target say plumbers in location okay if this page has that short code spin tax title it's going to show plumbers in location and get a quote in every single one that it that it's on and the reason it does that is because then you can actually build a page and it will be spe specifically targeted towards that keyword because whenever you're going to put these in <clears throat> it's going to target the keywords that it actually picks up randomly Four, five, six, nine. i've got 10 more there 
I'm going to do an identical thing. I know this seems a little bit long-winded, but if you want to do it for best results on every site, and you can probably use the same title tags and the same stuff across multiple sites because there's not just going to be a couple of hundred different spins of this. There's going to be tens of thousands, if not more, spins when you look at it because you're using the amount of spins you can get from the from the wording and then you, you also times in it by the amount that you're using which I'll show you what I mean now get okay I'm gonna save that let's update so we don't lose all that <coughs> and then what I would normally do is I normally have me H1 tag which is going to be the same as your title tag so you get your standard title tag yep so you're gonna run up to the top throw it in here maybe run down there shut that title tag in there and make it a H3 and then we're going to come down the page a little bit further. We might throw one in there just for good measures because these are going to be the same. And then one in your title here. Okay, so you've now got that number of them on the page. Then we're going <coughs> to copy this one, jump up to the top. And the H2s, H3s, none of this that I'm doing is, is, is set in stone. You can do what you want with this, really. It's not, it's not mad important. Um, That was a H3 again. Then I'm probably going to grab location. Maybe stick it on the end of a few of these. Now this is just personal preference. You can do what you want with this. It's not a big deal. You're going to be putting in your own tests and your own. Okay, so we can update that now. <coughs> Just let me go down one more time and same situation down here. I put the oh excuse me. I'm gonna put the number two version in the open graph because then we know it's always gonna be different to the number one version. All right, and I'll have a quick look at that now. We're on, so let's preview what we've done. Okie dokie, so as you can see, a quick way to discover a plumbing professional in Manchester. If you look up here, it's going to be identical to this. Quick way to discover professional in Manchester. Top level plumbing is the name of the site. Then under there, this is our title too. So emergency plumbing technicians Manchester. Quick way to discover a plumbing professional in Manchester. So basically what we've done is we put it on the page four times. <clears throat> now, this is going to be your title tag as well. And this has been spun from the top 10 of the industry in the most popular location. So we know it's already been researched, it's already been used, and it's already decent. Now, if I go over to Liverpool, for example, completely different. Yep, all hours quick action plumbing, Liverpool, all hours quick action. And we've got another one, which plumbers and plumbing service in Liverpool. So they kind of, they, they, they stick to the page that they're on, and you also can multi-level and swap them amongst those 10. So this, when when I run it through the um, this thing in a minute, um, you will see it provides, <clears throat> well, you'll, you'll see the structure's just completely different on all of them. They're all different structures um, and, and they just look more real, more unique. Right, then, for example, I'd probably do five title tags. Now, I've gone through, and, and I mean descriptions, I've gone through and nicked these previously because you don't want to see me doing that over and over again. Uh, same situation. Rewrite. I always press the rewrite and start again, just in case it's got any crap carried over from before. Stick it in there. Make sure they've all been parted. Check you've got the location in there a few times. Here we've got the county in here. Make sure your settings are still set up correctly, which they normally are. Now I'm feeling lucky. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay. So we've got them. And like I said earlier, export this. Okay, export it with the spun text. 
Now the reason you want to export it, like I said, you'll get all the spans, it'll mess it up completely if you don't because it's, it opens up in a text document this way. Let me go back over to our document. And we've got five of these. And I would do this the same again, um, as we've just done it a minute ago. Uh, you don't necessarily have to, it doesn't help your rankings, but it will look more natural. You can just go in and paste one in there, no problem. Yep, or you can paste the normal spin tax up here and the keywords down here. But the way I would use this and the way it's been designed to give it the most uniqueness, but also be the most accurate, is again, in here. Description, save. Now I would go through this twice. I'm not gonna do it for the video, but personally I'd do description and description too. Now the reason I'd do that is because I'd put in the Facebook description I'd have it different than I would in the um, in the normal description. That's up to you how you do it. I'm not gonna do it for the video because obviously I'm conscious of time. And then you just grab this, <coughs> that description in there, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna rotate the paragraphs and it's also gonna rotate the um, other bits. And then your keywords are not nowhere near as important. A lot of people don't even use them anymore, but it can't hurt, so why not? Uh, check your settings. Okay, we're fine, got the words. on three of these don't copy and paste out of there like I just nearly did export it and again I'm gonna jump back over here Now, what I would also do, and I'm not going to do it for the video because otherwise we're going to be on air ages, but what I normally do, and I'll show you on one of my other open documents in a minute up here. All right, you're not going to paste it straight into there. You're going to add a new one. Add three more. Paste them in. Save, copy that, and then you've just given yourself five keywords, but spun over 15. Price range, not mad important. Number can be, it's one of my office numbers. It's my company email, and my Twitter. What I would also do is come in here because if for nothing else it's good for the schema. Go in, grab any old image, click to call or do. You probably want to name that image something to do with your business, so plumbing, blah blah blah, plumbing click to call or something like that, but again it's it's not gonna it's not gonna kill kill us. Right, the next thing obviously is gonna be adding your images and stuff like that in. So up here for example, now, if you try and make sure you're, you're not adding an image somewhere like that or in one of these, try and look for a squiggly end or something where the words are not inside the, the spun content. So there's perfect, add your media. That one will do, delete this out of here. Now, if you put, <clears throat> let me show you. If you put content in here, so spin tax keywords and spin tax keywords, and then add it, 
to the right, for example, and then insert. Right, now this is something to do with Facebook that I've noticed. If you click on that now and go back to it, see that one? The alt disappears. So all I'd say is, rather than messing around in there, just add the image, stick it over to the right, then jump inside. Then do it from here by clicking on this. But first of all, I'm gonna come down the bottom and I'm gonna say, grab that. Okay, and then we're gonna go in here. Do that, and then that. And put underscore two, update. And make sure it's not inside the spawn text again. Like we did before, you don't have to change these if, you, if you're in America, if you're in the UK, you would. And again, add media. Remove that. Stick it over to the left. Don't bother with any of that. Do that once you're inside the document. And then say we was to add a third picture. Okay, and then what I'd probably do is go back into that one. And before I put that at the top, so I'll probably put the title as that one. And swap them round. Jump on this one, in fact, let's go down. Description. Now, I'm doing these just so that we've got something in there because obviously out of pure habit if I put an image in I always stick all and I always stick title tags in it every single time it's, it's good practice um, they're not the ones I'd use if I was using it properly and I'll show you what I mean I'm not going to run through this in, in, in much more detail I am I am going to go through a little bit more with you now but just to show you um, <clears throat> so it for example I've got a locksmith one here that I've done previously I don't know where the site is but Let's have a look. So in here, as you can see, I've not kept the originals, but you can see I've got three spun title tags. Now, I normally use 10 for that. Uh, then you've got your descriptions. Um, I've been, obviously I've done three on the description, three on the keywords, and then I put keyword mods, which basically is hundreds of keywords. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And you can see I've got six of these. And what I'll do is I'll go in and, and create and you get your page keywords down there, but one second. So I'd go in and I'd just, and I'm not gonna leave these in because they're not gonna fit, but what I would do is I'd, I'd duplicate and I'd add keyword one, for example, save it, and add a huge batch of keywords in there like that. And then I'd do two, three, four, five, six, because these are spun if you look at them so that you, in fact, I'll tell you the best way to show you to just whew, save copy and we'll put that in above this okay keyword one update and there it's just just one word rekey now these are great for going into your images and um, for example adding keyword Keyword one and keyword um, keyword one at the front, then location. So if you used to go in here, edit that, we'd put keyword one location keyword two, for example, and it's going to pick a different one out of all them hundreds of keywords every time you do it. So out of all them hundreds, it just said rekey on that page a minute ago. If we go back and view the magic page and look, Liverpool, it'll pull a completely different word out each time. House locksmith, uh, 
Sheffield and it'll remain the same on every page that it hits so find a locksmith near me but if I go back to Manchester it's going to say rekey again because it actually saves itself it actually keeps it on the page that it's initial with and then if you go in later and mess around and change all your contents these will reset themselves for you so if you go in and make a few changes and save it once a month every page is going to change on a monthly basis which is going to be great because it's going to be something where you can either keep the content if it's ranking well if you see it dropping go and make a couple of small changes and you're pretty much done um, and, and it's all brand new content across every single page and because you're doing it like this now I added the page content like that now if you wanted to go into more detail or you wanted to say add five or ten different uh, articles into this into your one page what you would do is rather than spinning all the articles together and stuff like that what you do is you get a well-written paragraph and you spin say five well-written paragraph ones and five well-written paragraph twos and paragraph threes so, so you're gonna have five paragraphs on the page you come down here let's just let me see what that is sorry about this you know what, I'm not even going to bother deleting, I'm just going to leave it and not have it in the page. Um, so, for example, if you are, if you want to write a five paragraph, uh, two, three hundred words per paragraph, five paragraphs per thing, you write out, you, say you get five first paragraphs written by somebody, then you want to look at it and say, all right, I want five second paragraphs written, then I want something regarding emergency plumbing writing, 200 words, five times five different first paragraphs five different second paragraphs regarding per commercial five different th uh, third regarding domestic plumbing and so on and so forth and then what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and call it paragraph one paragraph two paragraph three save and then what you're going to do is you're going to add all five of the first ones in here but after you've spun them so after you've put them through here and spun them all so you can have five different spun paragraphs um, in fact let me do a little a little example for you so let's call this random okay <clears throat> save edit add new add new add new okay let's run up here grab some content from here starts with basis okay I'm going to shoot down to the bottom and I'm going to throw basis in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and say, right, you know what I want? I want an image. So you add media. You're going to be adding this here. Add media. See if we've got something. All right, we haven't got something a banner size, but that'll do. It's a similar shape. So what we'll do is we go in here, mark it as center, make it full size insert so there's your image right then what you just do is click next to it or highlight it click on the text you see that little baby that comes in there wrapped in the image copy that and delete it come down to the bottom paste that in there then say we think you know what i even want a video in there go over to youtube <clears throat> show you how you can rank highly in Google for desirable local keywords without having to know any SEO or do any tedious optimization. Emergency plumber. We want a plumbing video. Yep. So for example, we're going to put that one in. Pause it. Copy embed code. So that was right click, copy embed code. Bring it over. Wrong page. And paste that in there so this is this is a perfect first paragraph this is an example of a first paragraph if I decided what a video in the image so on so forth so we've got random as the first one yep so let's update that <coughs> visual copy random let's jump up to the top here and say all right well I actually want it to start with whatever we don't know what it's gonna be but this is your paragraph one example. You could have a video, image, or a load of writing. And then review page. And as you can see, that's your normal title. Underneath it, first thing that pops up is that, that image. 
But if we go over to whew, Liverpool, and it's the image again, great. Right, one second. And then we've got the video popping in there. And that's the video again. And we got the content at last. There we go. So there's your content. So basically what that does is it spins out whichever one you want. You can have videos, you can have um, images, you can have whatever. Now if we go back to the Liverpool one that we went to before, it would be the same one as the first time. It will be the image. You see? And if we go to Sheffield, I think was the video. And it'll be the video again, as it was before. Uh, you can also add spun text and stuff like that inside of the spun text. So you don't need, you, like you can add these short codes. You can use these, sorry, you can use these short codes inside of X fields. So if you set the whole page up this way, you've got paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, X, Y, Z, so on and so forth. You can add these into X fields and X fields can also be added back into these things down here. The thing you can't do is you can't add that. If you copy that and try and add that into one of these, it's going to run on a loop, constant loop. And there's nothing you can do about that because it's the way the code, the code will work. So it'll run on a constant loop and it'll probably crash your server. <laughs> so, or it might not crash your server, but it's just not going to work. It's just going to break the page. Um, so you don't want to be trying to add these into there. But as you've just seen, we've, we've, we've added that in there. And then you can go into edit this now. And as you can see, we've got the visual version and the text version. So if I wanted to go into that image, make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Oh, that's not the image. Go into that image. Click on it and you get the same edit button you would normally. Spin text keywords, title tags, stick all the same stuff in you can above and it just works. It'll just work exactly as it should. Um, <clears throat> So basically what it's going to enable you to do, you, you can only use spin text and you can't only use spun content in here, but you can also spin your content, spin your page, spin your paragraphs, spin your images inside of each other, inside of your paragraphs, back and forth. And then you can also add location specific data for specific clients. And then all you need to do is grab the random. So if you do paragraph one and then you go into an X fields and put, okay, um, call that paragraph one, for example, um, and we want that to show everywhere. Save that, and then wherever I put the X field paragraph one, may as well show you how this works while we're here. Okay, X field paragraph one, update. But then we wanna say, okay, well I've just sold 10 areas to whoever down down the local butchers or whatever wants to buy the 10 areas off you you're then going to go edit add custom value guy in liverpool wants center of liverpool so we give him liverpool and his details are let's put him in as one of the descriptions because we know it's going to be a little bit long a bit of an explainer so stick that in there and click save. Okay, so we've got that. We've installed it up there. Always update your page before you check it. And then refresh this page. We're on Liverpool at the minute, so you should see plumbing, heating, supply, commercial and domestic. And if we view page source, I'm not even gonna get going that deep. In fact, what I'll do is make it a bit easier for you to see. plumbing, heating, supply, commercial, domestic plumbing. So we've actually got inside of there the content that that client wants to show in Liverpool. And then if you go over to Manchester, it's gonna be one of your random ones, which is the image. Go over to Sheffield, it'd be one of the random ones. Video, but we go back to Liverpool and we've sold that area to a client. So that area shows the client's content. So if you set these out correctly and then 
if you you don't need to do it straight away but if you set out the whole page so you've got all of your content inside of of these sections down here your spin text as soon as you sell an area to a client you don't necessarily need to go in rewrite and mess around you just go in copy the sections add them into x fields and then edit and add the sold locations in here that you've sold to people so you could have 50 locations in there that a client's bought with with that bit of code or you could just go in and write okay he wants 999 on his location refresh that and it's going to remove all that other content and just show the nines because that's what he wants in liverpool but second you jump back over to manchester it's going to show the normal standard content which is all being spun and all being messed about with um now just a little, couple more little bits i want to show you is i'm probably going to miss some stuff out here because i've not done a script or anything for this video i've literally just about finished all the testing and stuff um I'm hoping we don't find any more bugs because I've spent bloody days <laughs> getting this right for years. Um, right, so if you want to pull out your URLs um, and have a look at them, I always use Screaming Frog. There's beamersup.com, which is um, a free version which works on Windows. I use Screaming Frog. In Screaming Frog, if you put one of your magic pages in here, okay, and then just delete that forward slash at the end, it'll pull in your URLs for you without any problem. I know a few people have had issues where it's it's not pulling in or it's stopping or it's freezing. I've found that if you just remove that forward slash and have the word, you get these first two these two URLs first, but then it'll just keep running through. Uh, it takes a bit of time, so it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it pulls all your URLs out. If you click HTML, as you can see, it pulls out all your URLs and they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But the reason I'm, pu I'm pulling up on here for you now is I want to actually show you your page titles. So let's go in and say, okay, let's have a look at these page titles. As you can see, the different lengths, the different sizes, the word Manchester's over there, word Liverpool's, you know, them them there are from the same spun text, I'm pretty sure, because of where it is. Um, but as you can see, in Moss Side comes after them. In fact, that one definitely is. Um, but as you can see, the, the different, you've got them starting with different words, different types of words. Um, in different they're just completely random they don't look anything like one another and the reason that works is because we're doing this at the beginning right there because we're doing this we're spending a little bit of time making them more unique by pulling other people's thingies and recycling them and creating what we know already ranks at the top of the Google and then spinning it ten times to but not multi-layer spinning in you can multi-layer spin on here you can go in and add dozens and dozens of lines of, of, of all sorts i think i've got an example on one on here somewhere see like that there to help assist to assist now that is an example i pulled out because that is something that got spun from the spinner but if you actually look at it to help to assist to to assist it's actually it looks to me like i'm pretty sure it won't but it's got to help, to assist, and to assist twice. So it's kind of just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You might as well just have to help line and to assist. So I wouldn't bother with the double spinning because doing it the way we're doing it up here with all this really, really helps make it more unique. You can have 50 or 100 different title tags, 50 or 100 different descriptions, 50 or 100 different keywords, and then you can just use this content over and over and over again it's not going to get old it's not going to get used the more times you add to this the more times it's going to randomly be pulled out and picked up and used that if you've got 500 in here and i know it's a, a bit of a pain but if you're building 500 in here and you spend a bit of time on the site and you you build these out down the bottom correctly once you clone that pit that site and pull it across you're literally going to be able to build one site put hundreds of these different ones in once and then when you clone the site and reuse it, them sites, every site is going to be different. It's not going to be the same because you spent the time to put 500 different title tags in, 500 different descriptions in, 500 different keywords in. And they're all going to be spun randomly and then spun by the spinner and then spun randomly to which one gets shown. So your pages are going to be just, just super, super unique. As you can see, if we come back over to the um, Screaming Frog. Oop, I don't know what's just happened. 
Um, let's have a look. Right, so let's go on the descriptions, and as you can see, descriptions are all completely different as well. Um, that one's almost the same, uh, but well, as you can see, they're very, very unique, and we only used a few of these. I think we only used three, five of these. And you can have the same situation where your keywords are going to be in different orders, different positions. Your main keyword is going to start. Sometimes your locations is going to start. Uh, it, it just makes it a little bit more unique. Um, I'm sure there's a few bits I've missed out, but I'm really happy, uh, really pleased with the outcome of this. Um, if anybody finds any bugs, any problems, anything that I've missed, I'm pretty sure I haven't because I've tested and tested and tested it. I've built hundreds, well, I'd say hundreds. I've built about 15 different sites with it. Anyway, guys, um, right, yep, yeah, I'm not going to keep this on any longer. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a, this is a bloody long video um, and, and it's just gone off there. I don't know what happened, um, but I'm, I'm just finishing the video. Um, hope you he's, he's, he's like the new spin text stuff. Um, anybody's got any problems issues needs any help with anything give me a shout um it's, it's being pushed now so you should get a magic page version 2.6 i think we're up to maybe 2.7 maybe i don't know um i know we started at number one in in july uh june or july so we, we've done a lot of updates um anyone has any great ideas let me know um, we've got a few more upgrades now my team have literally finished working on this passed it over to me to finalize it all and, and play around with it and then now moving on to the next upgrades of this immediately so um hopefully we'll have a few more upgrades coming if not late december early january thank you very much cheers bye bye